I think one of the concerns with Tanga de Whenua and Hiawa Whiria is that uh, it is just a way of pulling in our forms of mātauranga and our forms of rangahau for the benefit of the Crown. Um, that has to be dealt with, with cautiously and um, uh, in open relationship. In other words, people have to expect that they're going to get some pushback from, from tangata whenua, from iwi, from Māori, in research projects who are concerned about um, the ongoing process of assimilation and of the Crown um, essentially taking Māori forms and Māori knowledge for their own purpose. The awafuria can be something else, but if you're not getting that pushback, then you're clearly not in actually real relationship with people. Uh, and I think the pushback is is precious. I think it's uh, part of what it means to have relationships with people is to be able to conflict with people. And a lot of Māori are unreal with researchers because they know that you're not going to be there tomorrow. Māori groups are often particularly concerned about secondary use of that information. Um, they're often reluctant to get involved because the information they're providing is for a particular context and if that information is then being stored by an agency or institution that it's not going to be applied to another project uh, which they're not included in. Um, so the idea of Māori data sovereignty um, processes of knowledge management and agreeing to kind of particular protocols around access, use, interpretation end up being key discussions that need to be had or, or key issues that need to be negotiated with those, um, with your partners uh, in any particular project.